boy is it a hot one today so uh, going to uh, get into and the uh, first thing to do today is going to be to uh, make the jig for the frame um, we are receiving the rails on Monday is what I just got an email in regards to so I'm gonna start uh, getting the metal into shape for the jig and then I'm gonna have to move the uh, 73 around so should be a fun time in the garage with the heat being what is it 96 degrees all right guys so uh, here's the plan for today we are going to have to move this section or this uh, 69 rear uh, frame rails and uh, transition pan trunk floor tail light panel uh, to this side where the uh, 73 is at and in order to do that what I'm going to do is put the skates underneath the uh, 73 and then pretty much swap spaces with this so I'm going to start jacking up the 73 and uh, then cider over here and then move all that stuff out. So that's what I got cut out for me. And then we will be able to start making this uh, jig for the frame. All right, guys, so I had to take off the skates from the uh, 63, which was not fun, but, uh, but I did get them off. So now I have all the skates on all four tires. So it should make it uh, pretty easy to roll uh, to the side and uh, obviously you could still see the jack I gotta lower it now and uh, I'm gonna angle the rear of the car towards this way that way I can side this out uh, that way so that's what I got ahead of me I will uh, take a video or resume the video when uh, when I finish uh, moving the uh, transition pan and um, the 73 so that's what I got all right got so I uh, was able to get the uh, the trunk floor section and frame rails on this side uh, so I got the jack movement so it's gonna go right over here and, uh, So that is maybe three quarters of the battle. I still have to push the uh, 73 and then one of the, uh, the skates. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But the, uh, the wheels decided to cave in. So I, am, I got another one and uh, I'm gonna swap that one out. And then I'll finish uh, putting the 73 on this side. So the legend continues. <laughs> Obviously it would be nice if the wheels work correctly. Right. Alright, so we got her on that side and uh, a little bit of a tight fit but she's over there so now I'm going to bring the steel over and then uh, jack this guy up or put on jack stands I should say. Alright guys, so I uh, pretty much got the uh, the metal on this side and uh, I did wash in the, uh, the rear floor section uh, towards the front of the garage or the garage door. Uh, that way, uh, this is going to be the, the first part that we're actually going to work on. And then, um, I think I'm going to have a little bit of a change of plans on it. Uh, probably going to build the whole frame, get the floor and the, um, the rockers, both sides, and then uh, just get all the frame or structure of the, uh, the undercarriage together. 
uh, for the 69 and then uh, cut into the uh, the old stuff that's on the car right now uh, still kind of debating uh, but that's where I'm at so I'm gonna put this on jack stands like I had said and uh, then I will touch base with you guys in a little bit right now I'm going to uh, get it lifted up all right so got her off the ground and uh, this is what it looks like so far so that's the steel that we're gonna be using and uh, pretty much what we're gonna do is use that um, that chassis diagram that I had last time and uh, pretty much uh, measure the steel cut out the uh, correct height uh, based on a flat surface and uh, that way we'll have the uh, the frame on the correct positions and uh, we'll pretty much do it the whole length from the back all the way to where the front torque box will be at theoretically over here somewhere and uh, run the uh, the steel all that way so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the uh, the sheet again I left it out in the rain and it got a, a little bit destroyed but I uh, have to keep on going because uh, once the uh, rails get here we should start seeing some uh, decent progress as far as getting the car structurally sound and uh, then I will have to uh, place an order for the, the full floor and uh, see where we go from there. Alright guys, so doing some homework on the frame uh, dimensions and also the, uh, the datum line, right? So that's pretty much your flat surface. And uh, so uh, these are the uh, measurements that I have to make up as far as steel tubing. And uh, right now, um, this one, the center of the hole to the bottom of the rail is 1.25, which is right here. So what I want to do is just make uh, a piece of tube uh, that would be 1.25 minus the 6.5 and uh, that's how I will get the, the frame even and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start marking these measurements that I have right here on this side or on this uh, steel beam and then weld it to these guys and then I will uh, put some uh, cross channels on there to make sure that it doesn't move uh, side to side or anything like that so that's the plan uh, pretty hot today so I am going to leave it at that for the day I did put the uh, tail light panel on as far as uh, just by scripting it on and um, I gotta say I, I am looking forward to actually welding it in place and who knows maybe I'll get anxious and uh, jump the gun and uh, start tacking it in place but uh, not looking too bad at all I mean uh, obviously the jack handle is in the way but yeah that's what she looks like from here I do need that other uh, tail light, so uh, that should be coming soon. And uh, yeah, so a little progress today, but uh, a lot of movement as far as uh, moving the 73, getting this piece on the other side of the garage, and then uh, yeah, all the extra work behind it. But uh, that's what we got for today, guys. Um, hopefully, we uh, I have enough time tomorrow to. Uh, Get back from work and obviously open up the the packages if they do come tomorrow so that's it for today pretty hot and uh some progress is uh a lot better than no progress so talk to you guys later take it easy